what are the complications of uncontrolled diabetes? Diabetes complications are basically divided into two types. One is the microvascular complication and the macrovascular complication. The microvascular complication is related to the smaller vessels, that's related to the eye, that's related to the kidney and that's related to the nerves. Now, uh, there are various stages of diabetic retinopathy. Now, one can go through right from grade 1, which is kind of a background retinopathy, to advanced diabetic eye disease. I will not discuss in detail about what are the rates of, uh, what are the stages of retinopathy. But one needs to understand that retinopathy is one of the leading cause of blindness the world over, diabetic retinopathy. And as a rule, every diabetic should get a post-mediatic fundoscopy, that's a retinal evaluation by his ophthalmologist, that's an eye surgeon, at least annually. We need to pick up retinal problems earlier because retinal uh, related problems do not give symptoms and we need to screen, pick them up and prevent it from progressing. That's diabetic retinopathy. Diabetic kidney disease is approximately 25 to 30 percent of type 2 diabetics may develop diabetic kidney disease. There are various kinds of tests where we can pick up diabetic kidney disease much earlier. They call as the microalbumin or the urine albumin to creatinine ratio. This actually kind of tells us five to seven years in advance that the patient is prone to develop diabetic kidney disease or which we call as diabetic nephropathy. This is a screening test which every patient whether it's type 1 or type 2 should do annually and if you have picked up microalbumin urea there are various kind of medications and dietary changes and good sugar control which can prevent the progression from microalbumin urea to ne next stage of diabetic kidney disease. So that's a must one should do. Uh, to pick up diabetic neuropathy, uh, well there are a lot of, we, we do a lot of testings, but uh, a, a common doctor in, in a rural setup, in a, in a town setup can just do a simple nervous checks with, with the help of a tuning fork and find out whether the patient has some amount of neuropathy. If he has some amount of neuropathy, one needs to inculcate uh, foot care guidelines into these patients because on as I said 25% of people with diabetes develop a foot infection and diabetes is the largest cause of non-traumatic amputations across the world. Diabetes is the largest cause for handicap and once you are a handicap you are leave, leading uh, uh, not only a quality of life but the quality of life of the whole family also suffers. So diabetic foot needs to be evaluated. Macrovascular disease really uh, deals with the bigger vessels, so it's the cholesterol abnormality, it is the heart related abnormality, strokes uh, related uh, abnormality. Now uh, there are basically to prevent uh, macrovascular disease, there's something which we look at in a simple logarithm is ABC. A is A1C, that's your average sugar less than 7, B is blood pressure less than 130 by 80 is changed last week to 140 by 80. C is LDL cholesterol less than 100. To prevent macrovascular disease, uh, if, you, if your ABCs are under control, you can surely prevent macrovascular disease. One needs to understand that diabetic dyslipidemia, that's diabetes related cholesterol abnormalities needs to be treated and, and uh, a cholesterol lowering drug will be helpful for every diabetic even with normal cholesterol. And the targets for uh, cholesterol uh, is much different in the diabetic population as compared to the non-diabetic population. Diabetic foot is another problem. It's a combination of diabetic neuropathy, a poor blood supply into the foot which is called peripheral vascular disease and infection. Now when all three are present, we get di a diabetic foot infection which could be from a small abscess to an ulcer, to a major gangrene and may land up with an amputation. Now each level of these diabetic complications requires a specific kind of treatment whether the patient, whether it's infected, whether it's non-infected, whether there is neuropathy, whether there's a blood circulatory problem, the level of treatment differs but one needs to put foot care guidelines and patients need to be taught foot care guidelines across the globe. Music